me feeling like I'm academics. Can't ride no way. Real quick, uh, if you guys haven't watched the episode I did on the Joe Bun podcast, it is out now. I can't play all of it, but I, I I could play probably a little piece of it. I don't think Joe's going to get mad. You guys got to go to his Patreon or wherever else he has uh, the access to this, and you guys can watch the whole thing. It was definitely highly entertaining, and I ain't going to lie. I went up in there. You know, remember I told you? I told you. I went up in there armed with only one thing. By the, at this time, no nothing had dropped yet. Drake had told me, yo, tell that nigga to drop because I'm ready and waiting. That's the only message I need you to send. So any if anybody's, like, I obviously didn't say anything more, but which me, meant to me, the narrative that was starting to build that, oh, Drake is just not going to respond. Drake is scared. It's like, what? Like, who, like who, who's, who's saying this shit? Like, no, I'm ready. The fuck? I'm trying to fuck this nigga up. I've been trying to catch this nigga. You know what I mean? Anyway, here's this conversation. I, I do feel like, you know, because of maybe so, uh, some issues that Drake and Joe has, it wasn't a hostile room necessarily, but, you know, I think, you know, a lot of times when you discuss this issue between Drake and Kendrick, people Id idolize Kendrick so much that they don't use the same criteria. They don't actually go off facts. They just go off like a whole bunch of made up shit. And I was in here to try to make sure we at least stayed on a factual basis or at least a basis of logic. Right. Because, you know, if if one person did something and they got criticism for it. They did A and got criticism B. The other person doing A should get the same criticism if we're being fair. Well, like even the conversation about like Kendrick or anybody else, to me, it's always laughable because people try to move the goalposts. Drake's the only nigga who's been keeping the hip hop. He's been doing it consistently, always here, always present, always answering. And now niggas have heard one verse and they're acting like Drake is like just... It's not okay. built for it no more. Mm -hmm. It's the you know, only you know, nigga that's that if you it. use hip hop and even at the moment when he did it, the push a T thing, he himself is, is, is acknowledging if y'all want to call it loss, it's cool because I get it. But I just couldn't do that. The only but he's why, been keeping it hip hop. The reason, the the reason, reason why everybody, the reason why it was ass is because he set the clock. What do you mean? He said, come the, on. I'm telling you. And so now, other, once you jump out there and said, I waited four days where y'all at, no, and now somebody clap it. at you and you Yo, have not, that's what they're I doing. I hate that that's actually. He did it, though. No, no, no. Hold on. All right, cool. cool. By the way, I, I'm sorry for keeping your mic. Yep. I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm getting a little passionate. Anyway, check this mm -hmm. out. <laughs> the reason why I hate that is because if you, this whole thing with him and Kendrick, there ain't no clock going to be set on a featured verse. Just like how the, what he was featured on, or, I mean, it was his song, but him and J. Cole did First Person Shooter. There was mm -hmm. nobody who even had the conversation. Matter of fact, people didn't even know it was a, a, this said, um, uh, Kendrick. Why the hell is Kendrick dropping a verse on like that, given any time clock? I believe in the time clock. If Kendrick dropped today, Drake got to respond by the end of the week, and he would. But you can't drop a feature. Drake gonna drop 20 features. You do one feature a year, my nigga. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that people that's gotta eight. start talking to Kendrick. That's you do eight. one feature that's a eight. year. You're not doing. That's hate. That's, that's hate. hate. That's hate. How's that hate? You tell me. It'd be a hell of a feature. Damn, this buddy. is what everybody okay, said about Andre 2000. You do one feature. feature, but if that record, if that verse is always hell of a that feature. verse. Hell of a feature. I saw you hit his seat up. Yo, I saw you it. on a lot of Henny when that record came out. Yes, Yo. sir. I saw you look deadpan in the camera and have a heart to heart with your goat. Now he's the goat. My goat, my goat gotta come outside. We don't wanna. No, 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 no. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I heard it. No, no. You no, know no. what the verse did. No, no, no. I'm sick of you Drake fans acting like y'all don't know what that hold verse on, did. Hold on, hold on, no. But if, no, no. Here's what I'm saying. He has to respond <laughs> to that. Yes. He doesn't have to respond no, clock. in how people want him to respond. I don't care about a clock. Yeah, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just saying. You know how he's going to respond? It's like how he responds to everything. Yo, I'm going to do another hit record and I'm going to give you some bars, my nigga. Because, again. Oh, I love that. What was Drake's last hit record? I mean, which one? I'm asking. I don't know. Last hit record? I mean, the, 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 was like, I, mean I could go with Jimmy Cooks, but that, that's all. Of, um, are we just talking about any hit record? Yeah, anyone. That Shit, him that. and Future. Yeah. Him, Future, and Thames. No. The one no, with the sexy red record. The sexy red record. Oh, Joe was being smart here. He was being facetious. Joe, you know what you're doing. 
I, I have new, I have new, and by the way, I might have to spin back up at that JBP. I love it. I love them over there. You know what I mean? Good guys, good, good vibes. But I might, I might have to spin back, and I do have new intel. I think Joe, I think Joe, and I have new intel on what I think may have happened with Joe and Drake's relationship. But there was a tint of, I won't call it hate with Joe. I could tell Joe wants to see Drake get humbled. You, you, you ever seen a guy like, you know, you ever seen somebody who you feel like he just got a little too arrogant? You don't want to, it's not like you want him to crash out and die. You're just like, yo, bro, you just need to be humbled right now. I think that's the demeanor I'm getting from Joe. Okay. Sex, I mean, I'm just saying. He's Every had, record he drops is a hit. Yeah, he's, had, he's had hit records. Every record he Recent, drops is a so. hit. I'm only saying, yo, I believe Drake is ready to go. But I don't think he's going to go off of like that, even though, you know, I keep saying Kendrick, to me personally, Kendrick ain't the best at this is he's the best at moments. He creates moments. But if I ask you anytime, yo, how to control start? Nobody knows. I ask you how like that starts. Nobody knows. I ask you who he dissed or what he said. Yo, he said, yo, fuck the big three. Of course, he's good at moments. So we're holding everybody hostage to him creating a moment. When Drake is actually, we've seen him engage. Okay, we heard infrared. All right, nigga, here's Duppy Freestyle. What's popping? Can I ask you a question? Go is ahead. that Kendrick's fault that nobody engaged back with him? Because this is not the first Stop. time he shot at him. I'm he no, shot. Hold on, hold on. This, this or, is the biggest like, cap look, look, ever in history. Look. You said, who ain't engaged look, with Kendrick? I said engaged Niggas, he act like Kendrick the Boogeyman. Who ain't they act like it. No, 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 no. Nobody acts like he it. The That's the narrative that fans have adopted. He dropped control. Four niggas responded. He responded to none of them. I'm talking about the niggas that he named, first off. He, niggas the didn't. niggas he named responded. Big Crit responded. Lupe re responded. Wait, wait. You huh? Can I? Has, Meek responded. Has Drake, that has, niggas, he has never Drake responded not, back to him. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Don't tell me about what Big Crit and fucking okay, stop okay. it. So essentially what you're trying to tell me is Wait, that. that's ISIS point. He called, ice. Hold on, okay. So you're telling me he called 30 niggas names, but he really only wanted one to respond. Yeah, Drake ain't respond because Drake said it on fucking, he said it on the radio station. He said, this nigga is not doing it for real. You said yourself, I also am in good belief based on information I've known. That Kendrick got a diss song for Drake. Oh, for sure. Drop it. If you drop it. No. Why? Why would he drop right no. now? No. Because you want to engage. You uh, said, no, 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 no. Stop. No, no, no. Act he's stop. already engaged. And he's how already is he engaged? engaged? He's, he's, stop because, it. How? Hold on. How? He's, he's throwing, Tell me how. He's throwing clear shot at the person at that he wants now. Wait, wait, wait. How? Tell me. Let's do it. How? How? Or yes. the number one song for all you dogs no, getting no. buried. Really? That? The, I'm just. Listen. I'm, the hardest part about that whole verse was literally him saying. Nigga, fuck the big three. Drake ain't never said nothing about the big three. Cool. And he better not. <laughs> because he don't believe it's the big three. And he Drake. better not say nothing about yo, the big yo, three. Let me ask you a question. You better not say nothing about the big three. You heard no, them no, no, You heard them shots in that song. You heard them shots in that song. I'll ask all y'all the question. Do y'all think Drake think he's in a big three with, with J. Cole and, and Kendrick? I would surmise that Drake don't even respect them niggas like that. Oh, no, oh, let me not say oh, them niggas. I'm talking about Kendrick. No, you're not. No, you're not. Stop. 100% I'm talking about Kendrick Lamar. I'm going to tell you why I'm talking about Kendrick Lamar. It's clear that Drake and Kendrick Lamar haven't gotten along. I think only in rap fans' minds, they think that Drake is like really like holding hands with these guys walking down the streets. It's clear. Right before that moment of control, we never really seen them again. By the way, refresh my memory. Actually, I think I already know the answer. When ASAP Rocky dropped fucking bitches, right, or fucking problems, and Drake and, and Kendrick were on it, that's before control, right? We've never seen these guys talk about specifically unless they were asked, and that Drake was asked, because I've seen someone try to put up a Rap Radar interview to say, no, Drake did acknowledge these guys. No, the fucking question framed it as the new school, and they named the other guys, which included J. Cole and Kendrick. You don't see Drake volunteering himself a part of no little click, no little top three, big three. And even then someone said, oh, the three headed monster. Yeah, that shit was said by an interviewer. That shit was not said by Drake. Drake don't have the respect for Kendrick. I think Kendrick don't like him personally. He don't like Kendrick personally. That's been that way, if you ask me, for 10 years. You don't put the nigga who you don't fuck with, don't respect in your top nothing. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I'm only going off words I've heard. Y'all tell me where y'all have seen any of this shit.
Do you see Drake running around trying to compare himself to Kendrick? I'll give you, I'll give you credit too, though. I don't see Kendrick trying to compare himself to Drake. Who we see trying to do the comparison Olympics is the nigga who basically apologized. That's my problem. The only nigga who kept wanting to, yo, hey, it's me, it's us guys. It's only up, it's only us up here. We're the best. Hey, listen, if he's the only one. But they're acting like Kendrick's response to dismantling the big three affects Drake like it hurts his feelings. How the fuck you hurt my feelings on some shit I don't believe? How? Nigga, how? I don't respect you. You don't respect me. I don't think we know big three. I agree with you. You're just doing some Drake fans. I, I agree with you on that. I agree with him. No, you're not. I agree with Bro, you on he, that. I agree he's with him. never said the big three. I agree with That's you. That's the most potent part of the bar. I agree the with you. The most important part of the the most potent Yo, part. It's not, it's not the most important the part. Fuck the big three. The really only not. nigga That's who just rapped about the, the big three was Cole talking about, yo, we the big three like we started a league. The no, most nigga. important part of the bar is nigga Prince out The only Mike thing Jack. that Drake ever That's talked about about the big three, he said, nigga, I'm top two, not two. He ain't never said, I'm in the. Yo, that's J. Cole trying to feel like he's some middle child holding these niggas up, trying to prop himself up. That nigga no. Drake has never used, whether it's Kendrick or Cole, to validate himself. Bingo. He's only referred to himself as the GOAT. Facts. He's Bingo. That's the point. So if if the most potent, potent part of, and by the way, we're, we're kind of arguing this in post because Drake got tired of it and he been like, like he been want to punch this thing in his mouth lyrically. All right, fuck it. All right, cool. Since you, since the culture not gonna force you to drop your diss, I'm gonna have to do it in the worst way. Disrespect you, violate you. I'm talking shit. Now you gotta drop. But the culture should have said, "Yo, hey, you really want to engage with Drake, or hey, you really want to get rid of him, or do whatever? Well, drop that, drop that song." No, they didn't. But anyway, this is Water Under the Bridge, but this was the, the debate before these songs came out. So, which part of this bar, other than this, um, yo, uh, the, the K-9's like Pet Cemetery, cool, but that's a cool you know what? jab. Hey, that's hey, not hey, I told hey, you the bar. Up, that's hey, the cool Mike, jab that's I just told you the Jack Prince outlive Mike Jack. That's the bar. That's a, Prince no, that's talking to him. Hold up. He's talking, talking, right. he's talking, talking to him. I know he's talking to him. And but he's you're comparing telling me, the two of them You're telling me that Prince outlive Mike Jack is a First of all, we, we it's were a shot because we ran into the we ran into the J Cole problems. We ran into the J Cole problems when J Cole just this. Okay, so the point that I was arguing, I, I know Ish was saying we're arguing two different points. My, no, I wasn't. I, I'm staying on the point that I started. I basically said that the most potent part of that diss that everybody's saying, like that, like that, like that. The most potent part of the diss doesn't apply to Drake. Drake doesn't consider himself a part of the big three. Nobody is is running around. They're not cutting the beat on, um, yo, uh, on on oh Prince outlive Mike Jack. No, that's not it. They're not cutting the beat on oh for all your K9s, sem pet cemetery. No, they're not cutting the beat on that. They're cutting the beat. They're all hyping up, nigga. Fuck the big three. It's just big me. That's what everybody's saying. We have everybody. That's why Adam is now saying big three in media. Everybody now want to talk about big three. How? Does that apply to Drake when he never thought this nigga was in his big three? That's my point. So what I'm saying is that if you sent a missile and you hit my nigga, but you ain't hit me, and my nigga over here said, nah, it's all good. It's all good. You can hit me with missiles all day. I'm a bitch. I, ain't, I don't want no smoke. Why y'all looking at me for? Like, what the hell am I supposed to do? He, he should have been mad. Not me. When J. Cole diss um, Kendrick, it wasn't believable. You said half of his shit was trash, it's not. I'll tell you, man, if everybody's talking about just albums, Kendrick probably has the most stellar discography, even Correct. if he doesn't drop 100%. the most. 100%. So what so you rapped about, Cole, was incorrect. 100%. That's yes. why you're copping, please, apologizing. Yes. Come on, man. Listen, great conversation. I want you guys uh, to go check out my man Joe Budden, or Joe Budden Podcast. We had a pretty heated discussion. I'm telling you, man, Hip-hop conversations 
especially um, with guys who love hip hop. And I'm gonna tell you, man, I want to shout out to my boy Ice. You know, I I, I, I like Ice in, in in a lot of ways because I, I I like he's I we were we were you know obviously different personalities, but we were like the same person. A super fan of this shit at a point, and the point where you now become like damn near a pundit and whatever else we've all turned into. It's it's like amazing because like you're like shit. I'm getting paid to like be passionate about something that I would have been arguing till I'm blue in the face. Anyways, it's amazing. Um, Ish is a really a, a cerebral guy who works off logic. Um, even though sometimes I feel like you know he has these logical fallacies that you know is easily debunked at times. And then of course Joe is Joe. Man, I think Joe is stuck in his ways. Uh, he's slightly petty, and also Joe is you know a super narcissist. When you kind of put all those things together, and by the way, uh, uh, Melissa Ford, shout out to her. You know what Melissa Ford told me when she met me, which I hear a lot, and, and I explained to her because she apologized if I took it the wrong way, um, which I didn't. She said, "Hey, you know you're much, you're you're so likable in person, and I wouldn't have thought that would have been the case. Like you're so pleasant to be around." And I and I said to her, I said, "That's not the first time I've heard that." Right. And, and, I, and I explained to her why she probably thinks it. I said, like, well, you've you have probably consumed content of me through female blogs and female media who only post me with the tint of, hey, this is academics turning up on the city girls unprovoked. He's always in women business. They're not going to show me doing my job, which is talking about all rappers. They're not going to show me doing anything positive. They, they're going to have a specific tint of continuing the narrative of Ak is this like misogynist chauvinist type of dude who just hates women and then when you're finally around me in person you see i'm super polite you know I, like i was sitting on this chair i think queen's flip usually sits here i you know like kind of flailed around a little bit i, I hit her mic a couple of times i apologized every single time you know i made sure i was super pleasant to her she was she was pleasant to me too on and off camera and i think she thought like i was just gonna be like an asshole you know what i mean which that's just not who i am as a person in person you know what i mean don't take a rant like these are my true feelings but i'm not an asshole like you know what i mean if i have a feeling about something that doesn't mean like i'm walking around doing fucking twitch rants all fucking day you know what i mean there's many times i'm very happy so you know um salute to her as well but great conversation you guys go check that shit out you feel what i'm saying